is, you know, the difference between kids and adults or kids still believe they can change the world. My name is Gunnar Simonson and this is my wife, Tracy Simonson. Hey, we are uh, going to tell a little bit of our story about uh, what's gone on in our hearts and uh, how God has just touched our hearts for Africa over the last many years. And uh, for me, I guess the best way to start that out is to uh, probably about 10 or 12 years ago, Tracy goes to the Women of Faith uh, conferences, you know, when they're in Portland. Boy, I remember it's a Friday night, it's, a, it's an all day Saturday. And uh, I remember, uh, you know, staying up late on that Friday night waiting for Tracy to come home. I wanted to find out what happened. And uh, I remember her coming home and, and just saying, man, I had a great time. And, but they, uh, man, they were just like really just hammering us with this whole world vision and child sponsorship thing. And it's like, boy, enough's already. It was funny because, uh, you know, Tracy's gone all day. She comes home and what was the first thing basically out of your mouth is, hey, you know, let me introduce you to our sponsor child. <laughs> and and uh, what happened? When I was 24, I had ovarian cancer and I was told I could never have kids. And I was absolutely blessed with having her. And she, of course, always wanted brothers and sisters. And when we were there, I walked by the table and I'm gonna get you right now. <laughs> Broke my heart. And I thought, I can't have one, but I can bring one home. And so, just picked out a girl that was Kira's age that I thought when I brought home, I could start sharing with her about at the time she was four. And of course with World Vision, you can really, they have gift catalogs and they have opportunities where you can give and do special things for your sponsor child or uh, gift catalogs and such. So every time that gift catalog would come out, I'd always see Tracy would sit down with Kira and you guys would look at it and kind of go through what, what you wanted to do. We got the gift catalog and that um, particular Christmas, she saw, of course, at four, probably almost five by then, that, okay, they had animals in there, so she wanted to get a goat <laughs> for somebody. Hi, I'm Kira, and when I was five, I started um, helping in World Vision. I was so excited to look in the um, magazine, and then there's so many um, choices to choose from, and there's either a house, a goat, and I was like, well, how are you gonna do that? And so she said, well, I'm gonna help you around the house and I'm gonna earn money to buy a goat. So any money that you give me to spend at Target or at the dollar store or on toys, I'm not gonna take any of that money. I'm gonna give all that money to buy a goat. In first grade, um, we were talking about slave trade and um, Kira came home, they were doing this craft fair at the school and it was one of those big, fun- Bizarre, wasn't it? Christmas yeah, bizarre. Christmas is a bizarre yeah. thing that they do at all the schools. and. Um, she wanted to have her own craft booth and I was having to share with her that they were professional crafts that people were coming in and selling and this is kind of something they did for a living or try to eloquently explain to her that it wasn't a something that she could bring and make and sell. She ended up just sharing with me that I didn't get it at all, that she was wanting to take her own things from home, beads, crafts, um, supplies, everything she had for people to come in and actually make their own crafts and that she would take all the money that she earned from there to give to World Vision. And of course, that slammed me at the moment. I felt like this stupid mom who was trying to squash her dreams and she had this amazing dream. And it was funny because the craft fair was absolutely a horrible mess. No one made any money, hardly anybody sold anything. Yeah. And Kira was the number one seller. Yeah. She, she ended up making, I think, $385 that weekend. And, um, all of it went to to help girls, and so uh, it's been an amazing thing. And, and when, when Kira was so persistent with with the whole of, of wanting to do this bizarre and really wanting to help these kids, and just saying, "Well, why do you want to do this?" You know, and she's like, "Well, you know, these are the brothers and sisters I've never had. You know, I, I, I want to, you know, I want. I feel like I got to help. I got to take care of them. You know, and so as a parent, you know, that really strikes you. And that, you know, boy, you know, at least for me as a father, I'm like. You know, okay. You know, I better take this serious. I can't let her down. That's all it took uh, for for me to really want to get more involved and get the website going and uh, with friends of and and uh, it's amazing what's happened uh, in that with our family. You know, as God has really brought us together through this vision that that Kira has with African New Life, which we are now involved with. They're doing amazing things. They've are sponsoring kids. Thirty five dollars gets a kid to school. Um, Changes a life forever. Absolutely. Kira's been praying for this girl, Valentine. She's 16 years old, and she's in just first grade right now. Um, only first grade level, because after first grade, 
um, nobody could afford to send her to school and there you have to pay for school and be able to um, pay for all these other things but $35 gives them food, clothing, schooling, everything. It's amazing. But all from this this heart that, that Kira has and, and, and it's not one of those things, but she's a typical kid, you know, watching the Disney Channel and iCarly and, <laughs> and such and uh, but she stuck with it, you know, it hasn't just been this thing that's just gone here today, gone tomorrow. And it's really blessed us as a family and it's really, it's brought us closer together and understanding that, you know, we can make a difference as a family, we can do it.